Hey, welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having an absolute magical day. And thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. We are back with a new Mythic Rank Standard Best of One Magic the Gathering Arena deck. It's mono blue artifacts. An original take on a super annoying deck. We'll break down the deck list, talk about the strategies and synergies held within, demonstrate this within our Mythic Ranked gameplay footage against the best decks and players in the world right now. Of course, we'll wrap up with our final thoughts, deck review and pack opening. We have a Modern Horizons pack. That is no joke. Oh my gosh. So make sure to watch until the end of the video so you don't miss out on that. Of course, like, comment, subscribe to support. And let's take a look at the new deck. Here we are. Not only an original build, you know, I got a little a little bit of flack for playing mono black. I understand. But how about a deck that can beat mono black? A deck that can beat Grixis mid-range, piloted by some of the best players in the world right now. Yeah, you're in for a treat. And uh, you'll notice, well, there's no Haughty Jin in this deck. There's no Talarian Terror in this deck, baby. Let's go. We are utilizing a new card, Unctus Grand Metactic for three mana, one generic, double island as a legendary artifact creature, Phyrexian, uh, Vatican, Vel Veltican, oof, <laughs> two power, four toughness. Other blue creatures you control will have whenever this creature becomes tapped, draw a card and then discard a card. This is really cool because, well, we're using a blue deck and who doesn't love to you know, kind of just sift through their library to make sure that you are pulling appropriate cards, right? Nothing is worse than drawing three lands in a row, other than getting them out of the way through a sick ability. Other artifact creatures you control will also get plus one, plus one. This is phenomenal. It's gonna increase our damage output turn by turn. We can also pay one blue or Phyrexian blue mana until the end of turn, target creature you control becomes a blue artifact in addition to its other types and colors, activating this at sorcery speed. All right, so uh, we do have some colorless artifacts that we may want to have be blue for the draw discard effect. That's the only reason you would activate that here is on the Reckoner Bankbuster, on the Liberator, and on an unpowered up Surge Engine. But it's minor, and you probably won't even ever consider that within the build. However, it could make or break your match. That extra draw and discard, if you, you know. So keep this in mind. We will also be utilizing... Liberator Urza's Battle Thopter for three generic mana as a legendary artifact creature. Thopter, one power, two toughness with flash and flying. You may cast colorless spells and artifact spells as though they had flash. This is really the main modality of the build. Whenever you cast a spell, if the amount of mana spent to cast that spell is greater than the Liberator's power, put a plus one plus one counter on it. This will again increase our damage output as well as basically turning our whole deck into a instant slash uh, flash speed uh, build, which is really cool, right? So that's kind of the name of the game. And then building around from that, okay, well, we have artifacts, we have flash. How about some disruption protocol? Instant speed for two blue mana as an additional cost to cast a spell. Tap an untapped artifact you control or pay an additional one. So it's a hard counter for three. That's fine, double blue sucks, but we're in a mono colored deck, so I don't care. To counter, just target spell, regardless, non-creature, creature, whatever, right? So this is really cool. We can easily tap artifacts because we have a whole field of them uh, to reduce the cast of this if we want. And furthermore, because its organic casting cost is two, we can cast it again from the grave at flash speed, which it will need to be because it's a counter, if we have the Liberator in play. So Liberator's in play, you know, we counter the spell with Disruption Protocol, it's in the grave. Then, you know, they're like, oh, I'm gonna remove that thing again. No, you're not. Here's an Arcane Proxy at flash speed, thanks to the Battle Thopter. A three mana, two one. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, exile instant or sorcery card with mana value less than or equal to its power from the graveyard. Copy that card and you may cast the copy for free. This will again allow us to recast that protocol, tap the proxy, which just entered the battlefield. It will have summoning sickness, no problem here, to counter their spell and we've increased our board presence. It's great, it's good, it's good, it's good. I absolutely love it. 
Of course, we will be running Make Disappear in the build as well as an additional counter spell, two mana as well, still allowing us to recast from the grave at instant speed with casualty one, which is nice because we do have some weaker creatures that worst case scenario, if you know, a, and a Shelly or an Invoke is coming our way, we just stop it no matter what. And this will really help that effectiveness out for us if we want. Counter target spell and let's controller pays two. If you casualty a creature with power one or greater, you copy the spell, they're gonna have to pay four, okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, you know, there's some uh, counter spell. We will also have uh, other field interaction because sometimes things enter the battlefield before you're able to remove them. Unfortunately, you might not have that counter in hand yet. You may have, you know, whatever it happens to be. Uh, Fading Hope is gonna bounce that thing back. We also will have the March over, or sorry, Machine Over Matter uh, to fulfill or facilitate that same uh, role. Return target creature to its owner's hand. If its mana value was three or less, scry one through the hope at instant speed, right? So that scry is really nice and can set us up for our next turn. Machine Over Matter will cost one less to cast if we control an artifact, we will. And then we can return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. So not just creatures, but artifacts, enchantments, planeswalkers, even in the future, well, I guess they're enchantments, aren't they? Battles. Um, are they enchantments? No, no, I don't think they are. I think they're battles, uh, which is going to be a lot to get used to, but that's going to be good in the future as well. And uh, then a little bit of draw within the deck. Uh, instant speed, thirst for knowledge for three mana, two generic, one single blue source. Draw three cards, then discard two cards unless you discard an artifact card. That should be really easy for us uh, to take care of. And then we have... Further draw through the Reckoner Bankbuster's ability. It's a two mana, four power, four toughness, artifact vehicle, crew three. We can pay two to remove uh, and tap to remove that charge counter on it. It will have three counters on it. When we run out of counters, make a pilot. It crews with power two more Then it's one, one. Uh, and you'll also create a treasure, which is nice. Simultaneously drawing a card every time you do remove one. So there's the nice draw. It's a big body. Four, four is not bad. If we have Unctus out, it's going to be a five, five, which, you know, that's a clock. That is like happening. Um, and, you know, the sustainability through the draw is phenomenal. We can also draw, uh, like I said, through Unctus's ability whenever a blue thing is tapped. We can tap for the crew. And now that's you're pretty in depth, right? So, you know, we've got an Arcane Proxy out. Uh, disruptor out, uh, we tap those. We're gonna draw two, discard two through the crew via Unctus. Pretty cool stuff uh, within the deck. A lot of sustainable draw that doesn't come at a big cost because it's just kind of happening organically. All right, so further draw through the Surge Engine. First and foremost, it's a three power, two toughness creature for two with Defender. We pay one, it can attack as though it didn't have Defender, it cannot be blocked. This is the bee's knees. We can pay three. It becomes a five, four. Really, like we mentioned, that clock is counting down turn by turn. We have four of them. They stack. They're non-legendary. Let's go. And then finally, a little bit more draw, which we were originally meaning to mention. For six mana, four generic, double blue, draw three cards, only activating this once. Uh, that draw three is going to set you up for the rest of the game. Guaranteed. And of course, um, you know, with that being said, we do have the Soaring City in the deck as well so a little bit of additional bounce uh 22 lands in total on the lighter curve it is a 2.5 um not too shabby though we're really uh having a lot of fun with the build that 2.5 is skewed as well because it's counting the arcane proxy as seven not three we cast it for three not seven so you know it is a little bit lighter than that so don't get too worried 22 lands like we said 18 creatures 20 non creatures and uh, you know just a ton of fun within this uh, original mono blue artifact tempo build so i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions about the list hit us up in the comments below myself and the community will do our best to set you straight and like i said after the gameplay footage which is very exciting today uh we will be tearing opening uh tearing open a modern horizons pack which is pretty cool this i think is actually my first modern horizons pack that i've ever opened so pretty exciting uh so don't go anywhere like comment subscribe and let's play some magic dog all righty then let's get after it hello good game tap that land baby 
Not that it matters, that sorcery speed anyways. Pass over, hold up counter magic. Now we can hit for one. Hold up counter magic and draw. Ooh! It's a Grixis deck, baby. Let's go. Just counter that up. We should play Unk this last. Push out that Buster as well. I mean, it's not great. We're defenseless. <laughs> but, you know, it could be worse, right? An original deck against the top 200 Grixis. I think. The fact that we're even still here is fantastic. <laughs> A second Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Two, two Goblin out. One mana up. Let's just get after it. I guess Thirst can go for now. I'm gonna pop that Goblin token back to their hand as well. And then we have mana for Surge Engine. You know, we're still at massive risk here. It's not a good spot to be in by any means. What do you mean, HGG? Your board state looks so good. <laughs> yeah, but we're playing against the Grixis deck. It just discarded their fifth land and an Invoke Despair. What? <laughs> Crazy. Don't you touch my boy. No! Not my boy, Blue. <laughs> That's good play, good play. I'm going to push out the proxy, bounce their fable. I mean, maybe there's a counter spell here. We could pay for it, though, right? Fable be gone. Thank you for the follow. This is multiples. Crew, 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 Delphia. Boy, we got him down to one. Let's go. This gets countered. Sure. Hmm. Hello, Miss Maya. She dodges the camera perfectly. Nice. That's skill. 
can't dodge this one though, can you, kitty? She's like, yeah, I can. Watch this. Right behind the computer. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Watch this. Corpse Appraiser, you know, it's such a phenomenal card. <sighs> Milling and grilling. And that is a good game, baby. Just an original deck taking down the uh, World Championship deck. No big, no big deal, baby. Let's go. Our opponent's going first. That's fine. You can't win them all, right? Bit of a risky brisket hand, but uh, we'll try our best. At the end of the day, I've already done better than I expected to with this deck. Um, you know, there's just some decks that are fun to play. This, but it's n it's nerve wracking taking it into the the rank, right? It's like, man, this is not mono black. This is not mono red. Like, holy, things could get pretty dicey. Um, but you know, that's part of the challenge, and I like challenges like oh man i played uh xcom so much xcom 2 is just a phenomenal game uh, challenge wise for me mm, even uh at one point i was addicted to emulators modded emulators or i guess roms um insane difficulty.com was the website and uh you know final fantasy tactics was the name of the game so they just sacked that which I think is hysterical. So I'm going to uh, A, tap my artifact, pay two. But then simultaneously, kick that back to your hand. Oh, nice turn, dude. Now maybe we should have kept that and saved it. It's, it's hard to say. <gasps> I did not mean to cast that. I was floating it. No. Nice main phase flash spell, dude. Oh my God. My bad. <laughs> we don't get punished though. So I mean, for now, and we have counter spells up. Which is really good, actually. All right, let's uh, get to work. This mortgage isn't gonna pay itself. Hit for three to 16, baby, let's go. You can consider that a down payment. <laughs> I'll come back for more. I got some more coming your way. Wow, that's audacious, dude. Do they have an organic, you know? I'm probably going to get burned here, but... You can't tell me what to do. Get out of here. All right, we're taking some damage. They gained that life back. Brutal. And did they have another? Like, I'm scared of this right of oblivion. We should have saved the proxy to counter the next of it, but they kind of tapped out. And I'm not sure they had another. They've got good tempo here, though. They're just slamming it home, bro. The second, ugh. the life gain is upsetting. Straight up, that's what's getting us. Sack that zombie. What? 
No, no. I'm just going to tap the arcane proxy that we used to cast it. From the grave. That's pretty cool, right? I mean, that's that is for me the fun of the deck. It's like, look at this comp, you know, the synergy. Are we going to make it through the match? Well, I don't know. That's, a, that's another question. Mm. The life game that I hate. Just so they can't, you know, but they would bring it back. They're all ones. They don't have until they replay this. Hmm. Risk the bisque. It's a good blocker. All right. Buff this up and race. We'll still race, but we're going to race with two surge engines. I mean, I'm honestly worried about Rise of Oblivion. You have no idea, and that's kind of why I don't want to dump too heavily into it, right? Let's just play that second and Bread the butter, you know? Buttered buns and briskets. That's my philosophy as I play magic, you know? That's how you win games, baby. Let's go. Oh! Screw it up. Oh, there, they have a field wipe. I understand. But I'm still going to make you have it. Damn, I wish I didn't crew that buster. <laughs> it's a field wipe, you know? <sighs> Whoops. The realization comes just a moment too late most times, right? Yep, I could feel it in my bones. That literally saves them the game. We had lethal, if not a field wipe or nice double single target. Brutal, dude. That's really good. That's really good. Not so much. <laughs> Great match. Doomscar is such a great card. I refuse to call until, you know, we go back to call time. Every single field wipe is Doomscar from now on for me. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll disconnect. Right? Nah. We got a draw. Uh, I mean, that's pretty good. As much as we could ask for. 
I really like this deck that they're playing against us. I mean, it's not a meta deck, and for this, I am thankful. You know? Boom, you just landed yourself on the YouTube video, friend. A lot of people say, oh, you don't show the losses. It's like, well, I don't show some of them. This one, I definitely will. All right, like whenever you lose to an original deck, it's phenomenal. It was actually a fun experience. Imagine that. Not dying to mono red again. <laughs> Which we haven't done yet so far. Looking forward to that as well. Our opponent goes first. It's always good. The network disruptor is utterly useless without flash it's a flyer it deals damage it's blue it taps with unctus to draw and discard and it becomes a 2-2 so mind your manners hgg you stop talking shit about my boy you my boy blue I, i'm pretty sure this is uh a lady i mean i don't know and i i don't really care either i guess um you my blue blue oh do it. Do it. Something Do it. Is going on. I'll take that scry. It's a counterspell for the turn after. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard Can I tap their planeswalker? Oh, absolutely. Now that's a power move, baby. That is a pa absolute power move. Dang, that's... I just cannot stand that. If we don't counter it, they activate it. And then what? The counter's gone. You know? And they have the creature 3-4, so I guess we take it? Uh, sick. Yep, yep, yep. Unctus off the top. You chose the wrong day to cross me. They have to discard too. And I can easily bounce. I don't think they want to discard that last card is the thing, right? All right. Fine. I know when I'm not wanted. Right. Don't shoot fucking there. Graveyard Trespasser is a phenomenal card. What an absolute house this thing is. Oh my gosh. Double cast back today, which is not the worst. Ooh, hi. How are you? Yeah, we definitely still need to block this. And then, you know, figure out something for that Flesh Gorger next. Back 
could do it. Oh my god, I hate this. Sick lunch, dude! Okay, I mean, they gained that right back, but we're not defending. I guess I could. I don't want to, though. It's my last surge engine. Okay, now we can do it. I'm not going to attack in case they top deck removal. Right. They kill one instead of two creatures of mine this way. Alright, can we do it? We need a uh, really ta lucky top deck. Counterspell. Thank you. Thank you. We cannot attack with the Disruptor. We need to tap it. Swing for 5 to 20. <laughs> we have a lot of work to do here. Oh my gosh. Nice. A lot of land. Still think we just push it. Three turns. We need four turns. Ooh. This costs everything we have. We still hold up this protocol, and we can block the line successfully. It sucks that we, that just auto takes it. Whatever, just another in hand. Cast your invoke despair, dude. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That was phenomenal. They still get to attack for two because we had to tap the proxy, but. It was worth it. Down to three. Five, six, seven, eight. We should be good. Cast another invoke. Big money, big money, no whammies, right? So we can just pay three. Five, six, seven, eight over one shy. So I'll just trade with it since we're not getting it. Watch us top. Well, if we top deck and unk this, yeah, we still won't get it. If they top deck and invoke, they'll get us. We have Flash. This was a great match. Three apiece. They go to five. But then we hit for five. We're down to one. Wow.
Now that is just a crazy close match. Let's show them our Thopter. Take our turn. And swing in for lethal. Oh my lord. Got him. We've taken down Mono Black. We're taking down Grixis. Interesting. Here I'm like, oh, that's a jank Mono Blue deck that's just fun to play. Alrighty then. Going two out of three, right? Two wins, one loss. With Mono Blue artifacts, taking down Mono Black, taking down Grixis with the one loss. So sad. What do you do? Um, that's literally as good as you're ever going to get, I believe, with an original deck. However, with your help, we can maybe make this deck even better, and it could be the new annoying deck that everyone's nervous about. However, with the meta, you know, where it's at, people have already spent those wilds for the set. They're already looking forward to the new set. Uh, we might not see this take over unless people already have the cards, right? Um, because I know many of you are probably saving for the new set, uh, which is actually kind of nice because a lot of a deck's performance has to do with your opponent's uh, misjudgments, um, you know, misprioritizations within their removal and their play lines because they don't know what you're doing, right? It's different when you're playing against a deck where you can, you know, foreshadow their every move and you know exactly what they're going to do and how to you know that gives you an inherent advantage within your matches and it is stripped uh from your opponent when they don't know what deck you're playing when they've never seen it before and uh you know that is the true pride and joy for us as deck builders uh taking people by surprise and simultaneously impressing them while beating up their meta deck right so uh, with that being said, you know, that's the deck. I loved it. We're going to talk about some cards that I considered in the build just to further dis this discussion. And then we're going to tear open the pack. So don't go anywhere. Uh, the Combat Courier. Generic artifact. Gets powered up by Unctus. You can sacrifice it to draw a card. Decent. It comes in as an unearth attacker with haste. Uh, not too shabby. You know, you can also draw a card after it's done attacking. The Moon Snare Prototype. You know, it's not the Disruptor, but it's still, uh, it's pretty good, right? We can maybe ramp, we can bounce things to their library. Not the end of the, the world. Slip out the back to protect the Surge Engine, to protect the Thopter, maybe even to protect Unctus. Sure. Disdainful Stroke, you know, it's a card we've not seen played with a lot. Uh, just countering spell with mana value four or greater. I like it, but it, we're kind of a tempo, and we need to focus on counting those earlier spells, too. Essence Capture, counter target creature spell. Put a plus one, plus one counter on one of your creatures. This is nice, but you can't confirm that every deck is going to have creature spells, so I really do think that this is probably a better sideboard card, and just run make disappear um, instead. Spectral Adversary, Flash, Flying, beautiful. It's blue, and it can phase our creatures out, uh, you know, so quasi-protection as well. A really good way to get around farewells right now, as far as I'm concerned, as a creature-based deck, and I think that more people should run this. Tezzeret, uh, you know, I just thought it would be cool. Planeswalker, it's blue. You know, it's going to reduce the cost of that buster draw, which we don't mind, and it can make, uh, you know, something become an artifact uh, to attack as well without the crew. Um, you know, and then whenever you tap an artifact, draw a card, which would be ridiculous if you could get to that. Uh, a Tezzeret proliferate deck would be cool Shh. experimental frenzy we'll do just that you know look at the top three grab one into hand then proliferate fairy vandal whenever you draw your second put a plus one plus one counter on it the flash and flying is what we really really like the malicator's watcher when it dies draw a card flash uh, sorry flying vigilance and it's an artifact decent negate hard counter on the opposite spectrum of our essence capture reject imperfection again you know just hard counter proliferate cityscape it's an artifact, and uh, we can discard it, play it from the grave. I don't know. I think that this is a good option. Are we getting to eight lands, though? You know, that's kind of up for discussion. March, more phasing out. Really nice. And then finally, I was thinking maybe the Blade Coil Serpent, you know, because it would be with Flash, with the, the Battle Thopter, right? And you could draw... I don't know why it's not coming up. I'm not allowed to show you the Blade Coil Serpent. It doesn't have an art. Um, I can show it to you here, maybe. Right? So uh, draw some cards, you know, and who doesn't... You know, like that. I certainly do. So that is 
mono blue artifacts. This kind of what the cards we were considering for the build. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we will wrap up now with our pack opening. So we uh, got a new camera screen set up as well. Hold your breath. Da, 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 da. And sadly, it's put these black bars on the side of my GoPro. It only does it once it's been on for X minutes. Uh, it's originally 16 by nine. Uh, so if anyone can solve that riddle for me, I would love for my GoPro to remain in 16 by nine and not like half scale down uh, to whatever this is. It's four by three, it's still in 16 by nine. So oh, here's our Modern Horizon pack, absolute garbage. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, so I've never opened one of these packs before. So this could be uh, quite interesting. We have the Quake Foot Cyclops, a Chiller Pillar, which is pretty cool, a Soul Strike Technique, Gluttonous Slug. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit better here. Boom. So shaky. New camera. We're working on it. We're working on it. And then also in the comments, let me know which one of these camera angles you prefer. Like, you know, I was doing it up by the camera all willy nilly. Um, and it was all right, but I think this is probably a little bit better. There's no trouble focusing. Um, and then I'm not standing up like a goofball. Gilded Light for two. We have the Sinkhole and Axe. Let's clear these away. Reign of Revelation. I remember that card. Llanowar Tribe. Tribute Mage. This is a Sliver. That's pretty cool. Lava Belly Sliver. Decent. A little bit blurry on this camera angle, but what do you do? I think the other camera angle might have been better. We have a Baser Bait Brazier Trade Mage for three. A 3-4 three, with flying. When it enters the battlefield, draw two cards, then discard three cards. That's decent. Then we have a holographic rhyme tender. That uh, untaps a snow permanent. Kind of weird. And then a snow-covered forest. Brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Our art card. And then our token. So... Maybe I'm missing something, but this was the worst pack I've ever opened. <laughs> uh, that is absolutely crazy. All we get is the Trade Mage. I was under the assumption that these packs were super ridiculous as to their value, and we're picking up a single rare that I don't see really being worth that much. Um, give me one second on the price. Price trade mage that is going for a whopping 10 cents for modern horizons this art is 43 cents so that is a terrible return on investment <laughs> of course thankfully i have all of you liking the video to show your support and make up the difference there uh, lord knows we'll need it cheers have a magical day like comment subscribe all of that uh most importantly just have an absolute great uh, rest of your day, okay? So we'll see you soon in the next. Bye-bye.